Incline your ear, and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. Isaiah 55, 3 and 4 Record thou these in a book, and write down these things, that there should be no misunderstanding that I have spoken this of thy King David, that he shall fulfill all these things. Write and place it in the book, that thou shalt have the record of the things that I have spoken. He poureth out, not as one who giveth stingily, but in double measure, that he may live his life to the full in half the time I would have given him. Behold how the words well from within the innermost parts of thy father to pour forth upon thirsty souls. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the life of thy father, and precious are the words that I have given unto David. Oh, how mighty and marvellous and wonderful are the great things that I have shown unto your father! Behold, I will not break the covenant I have made with your father, neither will I fail the word that I have promised unto David your father, I shall not allow him to be cut off before his time. Even as I have promised thee that I will give unto thee the key to the house of David, even so will I make thy enemies dust under thy feet, and open doors that are closed, and close doors that are opened that they which are of the synagogue of Satan, and say they are Jews and are not, shall be cast down and exposed. And thou shalt be delivered, for I the Lord have spoken it, and I cannot lie. Even so am I with thee, and even so I shall speak in thy heart the secrets, and reveal unto thee the things which are to come. For I will do nothing, but I will show it unto my holy prophets. As Daniel of old, I am with thee, and shall reveal unto thee the number of years, and even the number of days of the things which are to come. Thou shalt be unto them as the oracles of God and thy mouth shall be my mouth. And I will tell thee, and thou shalt tell them, that they may obey me. And they shall know that it is not thou that speak unto them, but I that speak unto them. For as I was with Moses, so shall I even be with thee. And even as with those that disobeyed Moses, even so shall it be with those that disobeyed thee. They shall come to despair, and to failure. Who art thou to question me? And who art thou to say, Why hast thou made me thus? For shall the vessel say unto the potter who hast made it, Why hast thou made me thus? For I have made thee according to my will, and this one by thy side, according to my pleasure, that you may fulfill my will, contrary to natural expectation, and in defiance of the conventions of man, even as I called upon my prophets of old to humiliate themselves, and to obey me to illustrate my message for my people. As Isaiah walked naked before me, and Ezekiel ate dung, and Hosea married an harlot to illustrate my purpose, even so shall I do this thing, to illustrate my wrath against a disobedient church and a rebellious 
Jerusalem. Thy kingdom and thy possession shall be greater, and thy flocks more numerous, and thy herds more fruitful, and thy houses greater, and thy fame spread abroad throughout all the land beyond thy comprehension, for thy faithfulness unto me. I have made thee as one with me, that thou might hew and cut and chop and smite and strike down that which is false, and deliver the young saplings which grow about her roots unto the light of my word, that I may shine upon them, and that they may grow and become mighty in word and deed as a great forest of trees that shall bear great fruit, and many, many shall be called by my name. This is the blessing wherewith I have blessed thee, and this is thine inheritance. I have blessed thee with long life and many children, and with the kingdom that is mine. If thou could see that which is in store for thee, the things I have prepared prepared for thy children, if thou couldst feel that which I feel for thee, the joy that thou shouldst know in time to come, thou shouldst be overjoyed for that which is to come. For thou shalt suffer many things, many trials, many tribulations, many tests and persecutions, suffer many things before that day. But I will bring thee forth as pure gold, if thy faith fail not. By thy tongue and thy pen thou shalt bring upon thyself and thy loved ones great suffering and persecution. For I have made of thee a sharp-toothed threshing instrument, beat the mountains like chaff. Thou shalt tenderly cherish little plants out of the dry ground, which will grow to the harvest of God. And when he shall come in that day with his holy angels, the earth shall be reaped. And thou, shalt sit down with Abraham and with Isaac and with Jacob in the kingdom of God, and thine enemies shall be thrust out. Glorify me in all things, then shall thy candle be exalted, and thy urn full of oil, and thy vase flow freely with the water of life, and thy flower shall not wither, and thy power shall not fail, thy wisdom shall not cease for ever. Then thou shalt continue to be a light unto my people, and to quench their thirst for everlasting water, and to heal their wounds, and give beauty for ashes, and wisdom for foolishness, and shall pour forth thy life upon the dry ground, that it may bring forth fruit, that thou shalt glorify me, the author and the finisher of all things, if thou shalt burn only with my power, and flow with my life, and speak by my spirit, and give me the glory, and not thyself. The harp of David has awakened. My servant David has awakened from slumber to lead my children in this last day. 
for he shall lead them by many waters through green pastures, and they shall sing praises unto me, even on many harps, and they shall multiply the songs of David as they sing new songs unto me as my children, that they may glorify me. Hear ye him. I have made thee my Moses and my David. I have made thee a new vessel, and completely broken thee, and destroyed the former vessel that was, and made thee a totally new vessel. The former vessel no longer lives, for thou art a new creation. What if I will that thou be wicked, as David of old, that the excellency of the power may be of God, that I may be glorified? For man thinketh not as God thinketh, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. I put down, and I put up, I propose, and I dispose. It is I that have made thee, and called thee by thy name, even unto the generation of generations, called thee by thy name before thou wast formed in the womb, and caused thy mother to call thee by thy name, David, that it should be fulfilled that which was spoken by my prophets. I have broken thee and made thee, and created thee in my own image, to be that David, which of old I have foretold. By my spirit I have plucked thy harp, and my tones have awakened thee, and I have said unto thee, Come forth, and arise, and plead for my children and my people Israel. David, arise, and come forth as from sleep, that thou mayest save my children Israel. Even as with my servant Moses I have dealt with thee, even face to face, and mouth to mouth, have I spoken unto thee, as with my servant David, so have I done unto thee. Thou must lead my people like Moses. Thou art as the voice of God unto them. Thy faith shall be as the faith of David and their strength shall be as the strength of David's men, and thou shalt plunge into battle with them, and be the victor, and thou shalt fight as with the strength of the Lord thy God, and wound the hairy scalp of the enemy by the power of the Spirit of God. They shall follow thee like sheep, whithersoever thou goest. I have kissed thee, David, and brought thee into being, and my love has called thee David, beloved of God, for which cause thy mother did name thee. I have blessed thee above all the sons of men on the face of the earth, that even as Abraham thy seed shall be as the stars of the heavens in multitude, and as the sands of the sea innumerable, and all generations shall call thee blessed. The key of David is that chord which I strike upon thy harp to awaken thee, from slumber, that signals thee to come to life to help my children in the time of their great distress. 
the key that I strike upon thy harp, the chord which I strike upon thy strings, is the tone that signals thee, the key of David. Too long thou hast kept David buried, entombed in the system and the old ideas. But I have awakened thee through the key of David, and thou hast awakened and led my children, my people, to freedom. For thou indeed hast little strength, but I myself have strengthened thee, and by my spirit have brought thee to life, that thou mayest minister of the strength which the Lord supplieth. As thy days, so shall thy strength be, that the excellency of the power may be of God, and not of man. For thou art a very thin earthen vessel that has been shattered, that it may be melted and moulded again into a better vessel. Even as I have also helped thee in times past, I now help thee by the spirits of my counsellors, even Abraham, Moses, and David, and others, that thou must fulfill the mission I have given thee on this earth until thou hast gathered my children into one fold. Even as John the Baptist came in the spirit and power of Elijah, even as I said, Behold, I send Elijah the prophet before the coming of the day of the Lord. Even as I said, I would send David in the spirit and power of David, my servant. Even so have I done it, saith the Lord. I have welded my Moses and David together. In the volume of the book it is written of them. So have I done it. David does not have to fight for himself. For the Lord himself shall fight for him, and deliver over unto him the key that belongeth to him. Kiss the mouth of thy Lord, which hath spoken unto thee, even as Moses spake my word, even as Jesus spake my word, even now has David spoken my word. For these two shall become one, according to that which I have prophesied, this my Moses, and this my David. Hear thou the words of my servant David. Many prophets would have that which I have given unto thee. Heed thou and listen. Look thou and observe. Do thou that which hath been spoken of thee. The number of the books shall not be sufficient to contain all the words of David. Kiss paps of David. How blessed are those that dwell in his arms and lie by his side, and those that enjoy the peace of his love that I have given unto them. There shall be no love like the love of my servant David. Thou shalt have many loves, but thou shalt never be loved like thou art loved by my servant, David. This indeed is the light of Israel, and this indeed is that which I have given. This indeed is the David whereof I spake of old. Therefore hear ye him. 
Behold the man whom the Lord hath chosen. Hear ye him. For truly there are many Davids, but this one have I chosen, and this one hath I anointed, that he might fulfill all that which was written of him, and which thou shalt write of him, and which shall yet be written of him. And all these words shall be inscribed in a book, that it may be said of thee, that this the Lord thy God loveth thee, as it was written in the book of David. For he hath great need of many, for many have need of him. And I shall greatly increase his seed upon the face of the earth, and they shall overflow, 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 and many nations shall flow unto them, and kings shall bow down before them. For this is he that was for to come, the prophet which I shall raise up from among thy brethren. Thou hast heard him, for thou hast received all of his words. Thou hast believed that which I have given, all the words spoken by the prophet of David, your king. David prays, and it cometh to pass, the things which Jesus hath spoken that his children might be ordained of God to carry the message to every land and every tongue and every nation. To the one called David by divine anointing, it has been given thee to perceive the number of years which, according to the prophet Jeremiah, will pass before the end of desolations. I have also given him the power now to perceive the meaning of these things. Even the foolishness of David is better than the wisdom of men. Thou shalt never fail, for I am with thee and thy devices shall never fail, and thou shalt have that which thou shalt ask for, and find that which thou shalt seek, and have that door opened upon which thou shalt knock. And I will give thee greater habitations than thou hast ever had before. For he is but a little tiny pebble, but he holds the big stones together. Take heed that thou direct thy attention to the little pebble, for he is the guiding rock. Though he be a tiny pebble, he is where my power and guidance are, and the cohesive power that holds the great and mighty rocks together. Because I speak to this little tiny rock, and tell him what to do, and he doeth it, and obeyeth my word, and heedeth my commandments, and holdeth my mighty rocks together to form a great mountain, which shall be the mountain of my power, and the testament of my word. And these shall be the great kingdom of God, and many nations shall come unto thee, and shall seek to flow therein, and bring honor into it, not one king, but many great kings. Multi-millions and billions and many, many mighty kings shall seek thy favor and flow unto thee and ask of thee, What shall we do to have the favor of God? And how shall we be blessed of the Lord? For thou art the blessed of the Lord, and indeed the King of God, and thou hast that which we have sought unto, and thou hast that which he hath favoured. For thou art the blessed of God. 
foolish are those who stand against thee, for mighty is thy power by the hand of God. They shall fail, but thou shalt prosper. Every weapon that is formed against thee shall not prosper, but thou shalt prosper, and be mighty above all the kings on the face of the earth. And I shall rebuke many kings for thy sake, for I am with thee, and to prosper thee, and shall be with thee in all these things. Thou art mine anointed king, and thy children the city I have chosen. And thy children shall be as the sands of the sea, and as the stars of the heavens innumerable, which I have promised to my servant Abraham, of whom thou art the fulfillment of all time and prophecy. I am with thee, and cannot fail, and I am thy Saviour, and I shall redeem all men through thee and thy children, for thou art the saviours of this earth. Otherwise I would cast it forth, but for thy sake I will save those upon whom thou wilt have mercy, and will curse those thou wouldst curse. Many are the mighty men that shall serve David, and many are the great kings that shall come unto David, and many shall bow down and be ashamed before my servant David, because he is my king. It is I that have put him up and empowered him. He represents me, for he is mine anointed one. None shall be able to stand before my David, none but those who love and honor and favor and obey me. Only these shall stand, and all others shall fail before my servant David. Thou shalt be exalted above all, and thy rod shall rule all other rods, and thou shalt be called mighty upon the palace of thy God. For I am with thee, and shall reign with thee as a rod within my hand as a rod of iron, and they shall bow before the rod within my hand. Thou art the rod and the branch, and my servant David that I have spoken of, for thou art indeed that one which I have anointed to become king of all the earth, and to smite all those who have risen up against me, and those who would seek to choose to fight against me. And I have chosen thee as the rod and the branch of David, and that which is the fulfillment of all those things which are spoken of thee. For I have given unto David all the powers which be on the face of the earth, and all the kings of the earth shall be his, for he doth love me, and he shall render unto me that which is my due, and he shall gather all the sheep of all nations to my fold, and all nations shall bow down before me, for I the Lord have spoken it and given it unto thee. It is a small thing, for thou dost please me. For he shall gather them as the sheep of many folds. He shall gather kings and princes and princesses and nations and kingdoms and castles and palaces and present them at my feet as a tribute and honor unto me. For he considers himself nothing, as little as the lowest of all things. Therefore have I exalted him, and duly honoured him, and exalted him above all kings on the face of the earth. 
Therefore have I highly empowered and exalted him, because he hath honoured me above all things, and all kings, and all palaces, and all powers, and all women. He hath honoured me in the sight of the Lord. These are the children of the Most High God, and these are the people I have chosen to place my name on. And this is David their king that shall serve me with all his heart, as a man after mine own heart. For he cannot help himself, for he is as nothing, as a little tiny grain of dust. But I have taken him and breathed upon him, by my spirit. Behold, he hath become many tribes, and he hath become many nations, and he hath become a king of all kings. And I have given unto him children upon children, thousands upon thousands, and tens of thousands, and thousands of thousands.